now we're doing our best to make sure it stays beautiful while we do little architraves and skirting. And the plumber here is uh, installing a vanity. Going to plan? Going to plan, mate. And this here is that piece of wood that Pido did a surgical repair of. And it's all painted and it's ready to go up. Alright, the weather's looking like it could rain, but pretty short, yeah. But it has been dry for about an hour. So we're thinking we can get up there while the roof's dry. And yeah, hopefully these clouds don't break on us. So this is the last job that we have to do that requires the scaffold. As soon as this is done, as soon as the scaffold's gone. Under there is a bit of a cavity system. The cavity system is pretty much, you've got your framed wall with paper, then you've got battens, and then your cladding. And we've continued to do the cavity system to make it line up with the existing. And when you've got that big gap behind the cladding and between the wall and the cladding, you need to stop bugs getting up there and, you know, or birds getting up there and nesting and everything. So we put this plastic vent strip there. It's wide enough to block the gap, but it has these little cuts in it that uh, allows water to escape if water ever gets in there. And also an important thing to do when you've got a cavity system is make sure that the soffit is completely sealed. So we screwed these plywood strips underneath uh, and that will prevent any anything from getting up into the roof space via the cavity. Yeah. Holdings on. It's like it was always like that. Wow. Plumbing. It's done. Look at that dishwasher. Very cool looking. Washing machine. Ready to roll. But more importantly, very important. <laughs> A working toilet and a working vanity. All right, guys. Cheers. Thanks. All good. Cheers, mate. Have a good one. Yeah, same to you, bro. So the scaffold's coming down Thursday morning, and um, that'll be great. And then outside, there's only this bottom corner area to do. And we just got to do these last bits and pieces. The uh, Scotia has to be ripped because previously the Scotia was going hard into the frame and then the jib butted it under it. But because of bracing and all the rest of it, we've had to put the jib first. So we've ripped off the 10 mil that the jib is taking. Now you may pick up a small issue with using this toilet. There's no door there. We gotta hang a door. I'm almost certain this door is about as old as the house. But it doesn't mean we can't use it. It used to be hung the other way. Now we've reconfigured the way the bathroom goes, so it's gonna be better if it swings in to your left rather than how it swung before to your right.
So I leave like a three mil gap at the top of the door between the door and the jam. So I measure to the top of the hinge, and then add that three mil. This is why I use rulers to get flat on the surface when I want it to be exact. Use it like a sort of meter rule like you, like you had at school. And all I did was put a mark there that I can reference when I bring the door hinge to the door jam. So this air wedge goes underneath the door. And I've got one screw in there, one screw there, and uh, as you can see, it's probably a bit close to the tiles. But let's close it and have a look. Uh -huh. So those uh, hinges that I screwed in, seems like the checkout was too deep. When you saw how I did it, I just screwed into the old checkouts. They're too much. So when I take it off, I will pack it with something. Minor adjustments, minor adjustments. Doesn't drop a BB and can't hang away. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm just going to pack this out a little bit and then screw the hinges to that rather than uh, where I had it. All right, all is not lost. We're back in control. I've packed that there with a bit of the stuff that we cut off when we trimmed the bottom of the door. So it's the same material. So for now we're just gonna screw into it and um, and this door needs to be tidied up anyway, so when they sand and varnish it, they can do the packing as well. I'm very happy, Potter. <laughs> I'm a happy man. How are you going? Hi, and am doing much better. How did I know it was No. Take two. <laughs> so yeah, now that I've successfully hung the door, you might drive a Bentley, but can you hang a door? You coping, bro? 100 years of being on a door, eh? This door lock. Look at the state of it. So, yeah, what's the lesson there? Never assume. I assumed that that checkout was going to be right. I should have known because of the thickness of the hinge. It wasn't thick enough for the checkout. Excuse me. Let's go down here. Don't know if we're going to be able to reuse that. Anyway, we're not in the woods yet. That looks great. Gaps are even. Fantastic. We just got to change the door stops because the door stops were set to the old position and the old position was very wonky. The jams were completely out of plumb. We made them plumb for the nice new bathroom. Now we're just going to adjust the door stops. Right there. I'm gonna go there. This door's a bit warped. I'm touching there, does it need to go into it? Or are you good? No, I'm happy there, bro. Okay. Sweet. So rather than uh, the door being flush with the plum jam, we've gone a little bit out here from the jam because that is going quite a bit in. So we're splitting the difference is uh, a bit warped. Don't know if it's going to show up on the camera, but yeah, should do the sides. Close the door again, bro. This up. Oh yeah. 
Yo, yo, yo. What do you think, Pedro? What do you think of the project? That's all right, man. <laughs> That's cool, bro. Yeah. Glad to eat it, though. You're making up with the Oh, from a bit of painting, this is almost done in here. Now one of the jobs that uh, needs to be done in the bathroom, it's pretty much done. It's like 99% done. But one of the jobs, one of the key things that are missing is the glass. And we're going to have a crack at putting it in. Wrong, wrong turn of phrase. But. So the glass sits in this channel here and then this channel here and, and after that it's pretty much on its own and basically it finishes well there's a little aluminium thing somewhere that goes to here and then you walk around into your shower load of silicon in there and in there and we got the suction cup ready let's go Here's your Allen keys mate. So we're just making sure that the glass is sitting parallel with the track below. Put the right amount in. And then once that's set, then we'll be able to put silicon between the glass and the track on the outside, create like a seal. But for now we're just putting little packers in to make sure it's even. Oh look, now I can actually see the glass. Man, these tiles look cool, eh? We landed halfway on the tile, right with this line. Well, I shouldn't call it a fluke, okay, Pardo? We planned that. Nothing's a fluke, Scott. We planned that, mate. And then you walk into your shower, you turn it on, I won't do that, because that would be a problem. And voila! Mm -hmm. 